Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I am going to share to you exactly how much shares I have of High Tide and my and uh, my exact history of it. Why? Because um, I believe in this company and I'm going to hold this, posi this position I'm showing you for a long time, for a long term, sorry. So, you know, as you can see, the stock price is trading at 61 cents, and here's a screenshot of it. So what I did was I took a screenshot of my portfolio, I cut out the Pacific part of High Tide, and I pasted it on paint. And people were like, oh, it's fake, you edited this thing out, or you don't really have these shares. Well, I mean, you can believe what you want, but... I currently I have a hundred thousand shares. I did have you know I did have about hundred and fifty, but I sold that off because I thought the stock was going to dip further. So I, I I sold it off when the stock bounced, and I'm just going. I'm hoping that the stock price plummets all the way down to fifty cents because then I will definitely buy in another position and you know swing trade it because. Let's be honest, I think that this stock, I mean, I do believe in this stock long term, right? And I'm going to be holding this 100 shares long term. And even if the company decides to do a reverse split, I'm still going to hold on to my position long term. And I will buy more when I see an attractive opportunity. But uh, that is my, you know, that is my plan for high tide. I believe in this business for the long term. I believe that uh, Raj Grove will continue to execute and become can and remain consistently profitable so I'm gonna hold on but I know that reverse blick is coming and I think that the stock price you know yeah that because they need to list on the Nasdaq so in order for them to list on the Nasdaq they need a price tar uh, price tag of above three dollars and fifty cents so they're going to have to do a reverse split in the future here but that's good because that reduced the huge amount of shares that the company has but I still believe in the company and I will take that reverse split. But, you know, so here's my, so what happened, right? I bought into this stock, you know, at 15 cents. It doesn't show it right now. But I bought into this stock at 15 cents. Uh, well, not 15 cents. According to this, it's about 16.5 cents. But I did have a position that was 15 cents and I had, a, and my other position was 16.5. And then I bought... Another 50,000 shares around 20 cents. So I had total amount of shares of 200, I had total of 250,000 shares of high tide in different accounts. And uh, I sold out 150,000 shares around 80 to 8, about, sorry, about uh, between 90 to 80 cents. I sold out 150,000 shares and then I held the rest. I hold a hundred thousand shares for the long term, and I've been and I've been swing trading the stock between seventy cents to eighty cents for a while, uh, between seventy to ninety cents, and uh, right now, you know, I don't know what the stock price is going to do, but it right now could be a buying opportunity because it's making a solid base between 50, uh, 60 cents to fifty cents. But uh, I'm not. I'm like I said. I'm not touching the stock unless I see this thing go to fifty cents. If this thing goes to fifty cents, I'm buying more. If it doesn't, I'm just going to hold on to my hundred thousand shares because I believe in this company for the long term. At the end of the day, I really don't think retail investors move the markets. There is a lot of people, a lot of retail investors interested in this company because I know this video is going to blow up because I'm going to show you guys how many shares I have. Uh, so originally I had 250,000 shares, I sold off, took a huge amount of profit and you know, I'm holding the rest for long term. I don't care where the stock price goes. If this thing goes back to 15 cents again, I will be a buyer. I will be a buyer. I will go and go back, have back my 250,000 shares or even more next time if this thing goes to 15 cents. Because at 15 cents, I was like, this thing's undervalued because uh, the stock the company was profitable. They were making four million dollars of profit at fifteen cents. So I was like, "This is a no-brainer." So I bought in, and I was rewarded big time. And now I'm waiting for the stock price to drop back down to. 
Oh, stupid phone. So, people phoning. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah. So, for like, I don't know. But, uh, the, just recently, I'm just going quickly go over this news. So, High Tide reports approximately $775,000 at retail stores on 420. Um, so this was a 50, uh, this was an 80% cr increase from the previous Tuesday. So if you take our calculator, right, and you go $775,000 times 0 0.2, because that is 70, 80% increase. So last Tuesday, they made $155,000 of total revenue in one day. And uh, this Tuesday, the, on 420, they made seven hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. So the the, the so it, we can kind of calculate how much money they would make. My guess is, on average, right? Like a Tuesday would be a weaker day. On the weekend, like a Saturday, Sunday would be a or a Friday would be a much better day for sales because uh, people are more active, people are off work, and more people are actively can you know you know they have free time so they go buy stuff so i would say that you know on a weekend they their sales would be a lot higher so we we extract if we take this into account uh you know per day i would say they could average out to around four hundred thousand dollars per day i mean it could be less it could be more but i'm gonna take four hundred thousand dollars a day on average so four hundred thousand dollars a day on average, times that by ninety days, that is three thirty-six million dollars. But that that thirty-six million dollars would make absolutely no sense because last quarter when they reported, they made more than thirty-six million dollars. They made thirty-eight million dollars. So, I and back then they had seventy-three stores. Now they have eighty-four stores. Um, I'm thinking it's more than four hundred thousand dollars a day. I'm thinking about five hundred thousand dollars a day, right? Five hundred thousand dollars a day on average times ninety would be forty-five. So forty-five million dollars. So their next earnings report should be around forty-five million dollars of revenue. Hopefully, I don't know. Is that enough to you know evaluate the company? At much higher valuation, I don't know. The company is extremely dilutive right now too, and at the end of the day, I don't move the markets. Big money does so. But the thing is, the reason why I really like High Tide is not because of the Canadian business; it's but the potential of a U.S. business when legalization happens in the United States. Smoke Cartel and um, CBD and Glass City could be an explosive business when legalization happens in the United States, when they are able to sell MJ on the storefront, uh, on the online thing, they could have explosive growth in the United States when federal legalization happens. And that's why I'm so bullish on this company long term. I'm, exp I'm gambling on the possibility of legalization in the United States. Short term, I don't know what the stock price will do. It's up to re big money to move the stock. So we'll see where big money moves it. I don't, I'm not big money. I just try to ride off big money. That's why, you know, I'm hoping big money keeps pumping it up. If not, whatever, you know. I, if it goes down to 50 cents, I'm going to buy some. If it goes down to, you know, 40 cents, I kind of freak out at that point. But I would probably buy a little bit more. But ultimately, if this thing goes back to 15 cents, I would load the boat on it. I don't think it will go back to 15 cents. That's just too much of a bargain. But anything's possible in the market. So just letting you guys know. But right now, what I'm really excited for is QU Media. I, I have a ton of cash. I still have a ton of cash on the side. And I want, I'm hoping that, you know, I, you know I, I'm, I still think that this stock is going higher. But if this thing plummets all the way down to 30 cents again i'm going to be a big buyer at 30 cents because i really believe in this company and this business but uh, i'm more bullish on this company than i am on high tide and they have way less dilutive shares 
so that's just my opinion anyways thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye